Okay, mechanicals again. Um, oh, this is my uh, electronic one from the weekend, and um, this just turned into a soup machine. Uh, I mean, fair enough, it was quite a cold start to the day. Um, from what I could tell, there was no winter paint, and uh, I wasn't the only one who was breaking paint. Um, but this was. I mean, when I got it working towards the end of the day, obviously the temperature got up a bit, it was okay. But beginning of the day, early in the morning, this was just a soup chopper. And um, I'm going to take all the electronics out. I've got a whole batch of uh, different mechanical valves. Uh, we're going to have a play about. We're going to do a cocker version of the mechanical valve firing from a closed bolt. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, motley collection of stuff we've got here. Let's just stick a quick bit of lube on this um, bolt. Um, this is a hollow bolt, one I made years ago. Um, double towel O-ring, although the O-ring's close together because this O-ring that's closer to the tip of the bolt controls the dwell. And why people haven't picked up on it, I don't know. Anyway, keep that to yourself, Dave. Has someone a copy you? Uh, let's throw that in there. Let's throw that in there. So, now, um, what one do we want to play with? Ah, yes, I was playing with this. Um, this is a two way. It's a Fabco. I don't normally use a lot of Fabco stuff. Um, I'm not even too sure how it plums up. Right, so this is good. It's going to be like a cocker type of thing. It's going to be a closed bolt, and then we're going to have the burst of gas afterwards. Let's see what happens. Oh! Slow though, isn't it? Leaky old thing. I think what we're going to do is um, we're going to have an experiment. Oh bloody hell! Shut up. We're going to have an experiment with uh, a QEV. I think we'll get all that um, stroke up much quicker. I don't know if we can use QEV or if the QEV has to go on the front now or on the back. Um, I'll let you know as I find out. Um, yeah. So now I've got um, a QEV at the front. Uh, running with this little Fabco two-way. Um, as you can see, in the um, ready-to-accept position, it's a closed bolt, so no ball can get in there. Uh, when we operate the Fabco, the bolt comes back. That hissing you can hear is the exhaust valve on the Fabco. And then when you release your trigger, the bolt comes forward, then it fires. Um, it's not exactly like a cocker, it's not a truly closed bolt firing system because it's still blowing forward, but it's weird how the bolt's forward and then we power it to get back, yeah? Okay, sorry for shaky cam. Shaky cam! Star Trek. <laughs> um, I now have my own um, freeway, or two way rather. No, this is a freeway, but it works backwards. So this will give me the cocker effect. Um, as you see, I've built my own splitter into the back. Uh, so I don't have to split the hose inside the gun. So there's no horrible kink lines or anything. This has a massive literage flow. Um, it means I'll be able to run my markers at about 60 PSI. And get a quarter of a litre of air per shot like this. Really huge, massive literage flow. It's rated to about 400 PSI. So there's... Um, no naughtiness that other people are not telling the public. Uh, we won't go there. Um, here's the frame. Uh, I'm going to do this one with two grub screws. Because, you know, it's a prototype. So we're just going to lock it in with two grub screws. There'll be two grub screws either side. Hey, Gummy's Workshop catching up again. Uh, as you know, I'm doing this... Uh, <coughs> what am I going to call it? Cocker iron? Cocker SP1 iron, oh, I don't know. It's, uh, it's an iron that fires from a closed bolt, basically. Um, so, 
uh, as you can see here, uh, I've got the valve installed, I've got the grub screws in place. Uh, I'm just waiting for some thread lock and stuff to seal inside, so I'm not going to um, gas it up. Uh, this one drives directly to the valve here. You can actually see the valve there. Lovely, that is, that's a really nice action. And again, a massively high flow rate. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm um, making a new bolt. Uh, with my own um, double towel o-ring head. This actually is a uh, fire bolt, but if you look down the nose there, it's got a soft rubber tip. It's a fire bolt with a soft rubber tip. <gasps> How'd you do that? Well, you know, you want one, I'll sell you one. I am fed up with chopping paint. Oh, so I'm going all out to stop paint chopping. That's the cool thing about the um, this cocker hole system is uh, the forward stroke of the bolt is really nice and gentle and it's going to be even more gentler with that big spongy thing in there. And also with these mech valves they let their air go really slowly. Um, they start slow, crescendo, then tail off. Um, so this is going to be quite good. I don't know what the efficiency is going to be yet but I'm um, not really bothered about it. Um, Anyway, I'm going to uh, put this all together, get everything sealed up, and then we're going to have a bit of a shooty session, and we'll let you know how it goes. Okay, a quick little bit about friction and stiction. Uh, if you've owned an auto mag for any length of time, you know all about this when you were setting up your uh, level 10 bolts. So we've got the O-ring on the back here. This is the double tower one. This is the one I've just machined in. And obviously I want to find the perfect fit O-ring. Um, this is the end of an old uh, fire can from an iron and uh, basically what we're doing is we're just checking the fit of this o-ring now that's quite nice that one and then we want to check this second one as well so what I'm going to do is we're going to pop this o-ring off and uh, we're going to find another o-ring we'll pop that on there as well make sure that's okay yeah that's not too bad that's a little bit tight that one so we're going to move that down to the next hole Uh, we're going to check this one and that is absolutely lovely once I've got a bit of lube on there that'll be perfect so there you are and uh, I also have one this is the uh, front end of the fire can this checks the uh, main big green o-ring in the centre here again that's just for checking the friction and the stiction on that o-ring so it's like setting up uh, an auto mag level 10 bolt where you're checking all the stiction and friction. Yeah. That's why my guns run so sweet. Anyway, a real little. And, um, join now. Um, I use a thread locking compound on all the uh, banjos and fittings, etc. Um, the soft nose bolt's in now. Um, all the frictions are set, all the stictions are set. Um, I'm going to start with uh, a low pressure test. Uh, this is the auto cocker um, set up with the uh, bolt um, in its forward position when it's gassed. So normally with an iron, when you gas it up, the bolt goes back, the ball drops in, the bolt moves forward, fires, off goes the ball, the bolt comes back, remains back, picks up the next ball, etc, etc. Now what we have on this one is the bolt is always forward. Then it comes back, picks up the ball, then it goes forward and fires the shot. Yeah? So uh, it works like an auto cocker. Well, not exactly like an auto cocker, but along the same lines. It's firing from a closed bolt. So, here's the truth of it. Now, if this leaks, you know, yeah? Well, seems okay so far. Uh, I had to mess around a lot with the hoses to get them all right. Now, uh, I'm going to squeeze the trigger. Um, yeah, anticipation. <laughs> Is it going to work? Hey! Can we... Uh... Okay, so... Yeah, look, check this out. How's that? Oh, you can see the fire bolt. Look, yeah, I've got the screen on my camera turned around. You see the fire bolt is in its forward position, then it comes back, and then it goes forward to fire the shot. 